morning. Welcome back to what I hope is another fun and informative vlog. We are heading to Canmore today. If you're a regular to our channel, uh, a new addition to our family has come. We have a new daughter, Ellie. She is six weeks old. And if you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Becky. I travel with my husband, Travis, our two-year-old daughter, Teddy, and now Ellie as well. So come along with us as we see what it's like to take a road trip with our two girls. Uh, we have about six hours to get to Canmore and we have five nights in Canmore, so let's go. Okay, we made it to the Blackstone Lodge here in Canmore. So this is a hotel, but it also has uh, units that you can own. So lots of Airbnb rentals available here. We have stayed in a couple of different units and I'll just give you a quick little look around. You can see right when we come in, we've got a uh, table for four, a nice little living room. I'll show you the patio in a minute. And then <laughs> a nice U-shaped kitchen, which is fully uh, stocked. And we brought more. We made a couple of stops for groceries on the way here. So we've got lots of food. <laughs> okay, and then coming back through the front door is a really big closet there. We've got a washer and dryer through this door. Uh, this is the second bathroom. So a nice tub shower. And then this is the second bedroom in here, which still has a king size bed. It's a bit of a tight squeeze through here, but TV on the wall, access to the patio, and another nice big closet. So we've got three different accesses to the patio here. And got a little bit of a view. We can see Holling there and East End of Rundle. Okay, and then the main bedroom here has another king bed. A little more spacious in here. So the cool thing about going the Airbnb route is that we got the codes that we needed. So as soon as we pulled up, we just went right into the underground parking and came right up to our room, walked right in. No need to check in or anything like that, which is super convenient. The really sad news is when we were in the elevator, there's a sign posted that the pool is closed for maintenance from the 7th to the 11th of April, which is the exact dates of our stay. So that's just so disappointing. We were so excited to have the pool, the outdoor pool, take Teddy in. But the good news is, is that the hot tubs are still open and in all likelihood that's all she probably would have wanted to do when she got out there anyways go in the hot tub so we will still do that and we might consider going and checking out elevation place uh, maybe one night or something while we're here too so that we can have a really big swim in an indoor pool once we made it here to blackstone this evening we just popped in one of the pre-made meals that we picked up from costco uh, ellie had a little nap well teddy and travis went down to the hot tub which teddy enjoyed just as much as she would enjoy the pool and then I strolled down with Ellie and had her in the bassinet so I could hop in the hot tub for like five or ten minutes. And now we're back up at the room. So that's going to be it for us tonight. And we are so looking forward to the rest of our week here in Canmore. quarter to four and we actually just got back to our place. We have been walking and also doing some cafe and some restaurant stops and it has just been a really nice day. When we walk downtown from the Kananaskis Way area, we like to come across to the Spring Creek area and walk along the creek here.
once we got downtown we did a little bit of looking around in some shops and then decided it was time for a little break so we went to one of our favorites JK Bakery had a little stop there so we could wake up Ellie and um, nurse her and have a snack and just kind of rest for a bit and then we went back out and headed did a little bit more shopping I guess and then we headed to a playground and then it was kind of lunchtime so we went for the first time we've never been at this restaurant called the local and we had such a good lunch i had the uh, fish tacos and they were really really good and travis's burger was good and then out we went again a little bit more uh shopping and then it was teddy's nap time actually so then i got to do a bit more shopping while that both girls were sleeping so just stopped in a few shops and picked up a couple things here and there and yeah, then we just decided we should make our way back to our place here. We both are very tired, like sore feet, tired legs. It's been a lot of walking around, which is a nice way to start our stay here in Canmore. So it's been a really lovely day and we probably, I'm not sure if we'll venture out again or not, but um, we'll see what else we get up to for the rest of the day. Definitely we'll be checking out the hot tub again for sure good morning just like any trip to canmore you have to visit banff while you're here we do love banff just about as much as we love canmore but we prefer to stay in canmore because of the accommodation options so usually when we're here we spend at least one day in Banff so that is our plan today so let's go $151 for a yearly pass or $22 a day bought our yearly pass for the park the person at the gate told us that you could present the pass with the receipt and you could get into the cave and basin museum which we haven't been to i think probably for like eight or nine years ago travis and i went so we were just gonna go check it out but we drove up here and it says it's open thursdays to monday so not tuesdays and wednesdays and today's a tuesday so we will head back down into Banff Town and make a new plan. So our second stop was to come to this recreation site where there used to be this really cool playground and they've got a whole construction setup happening and the entire play structure is actually gone. So another little strikeout for our morning in Banff. Banff Recreation Grounds Renewal, a project lasting until 2025. So are they putting a playground back? Oh yeah, playground and all the sports courts. After a quick play on the playground, we are just strolling down Banff Avenue and it is so quiet here at 10.45 on a Tuesday in April. Definitely the shoulder season and a very quiet time to visit Banff.
for years and years we've been walking by this restaurant and it smells so good and today we are finally gonna go in and have lunch and it opens in just a few minutes and it actually has a lunch buffet which I think we will check out so I'm really excited to try this Indian food we just had such a good lunch experience at Masala uh, we were a little bit worried because it was a buffet, but there was like four or five curries to choose from and they were all really, really good. So definitely a highly recommend for lunch when you are in Banff. So we've got two girls napping after lunch nap and it is still very quiet around town. We've been popping in and out of some stores, just enjoying the day in Banff. We came into Banff Avenue Brewing Co. Travis actually just came to get some off sale, but since it's a bit chilly outside and the girls are still napping, we decided to stop have a drink. They actually have some games, so we're playing a quick hand of crib. Finished up our time at the Banff Avenue Brewing Company. Uh, Teddy is awake, Ellie is still sleeping. The sun is shining now and it seems really beautiful, but Travis thinks it's a little chilly for a hike today, so we are going to skip doing the Tunnel Mountain hike for today, and we will head back to Canmore. Good morning. We decided today was finally hiking day. We came up the Three Sisters Parkway and are doing the Three Sisters Creek trail hike. It's 4.5 kilometers and it's supposed to take about an hour and a half so we've got our gals loaded up and let's see how our first hike as a family of four goes. Wildlife corridor. We've got our bear spray but as always hoping for no encounters on this trail. time of year because you're actually walking in the creek. It'd be good if you didn't have kids to fall in and ruin your day. So we'll just have a good day and we'll turn around and be yeah. back and we'll find another trail. Seems a bit too precarious for us. We already did one creek crossing which was adventurous enough for us. This has been a really nice walk so far so I think we will just, oh we're tired. We'll just turn back and head back down. wrapping up our Three Sisters Creek hike. We were 3.7 kilometers from the point where we turned around. It was an out and back and we were about an hour and 40 minutes with all of our little breaks and everything so just a nice hike. It was really good. Yeah nice and starting to warm up in the forest so it was just a good time to get back. Not sloppy and slushy so excellent. But good to have our, pick, our spikes on our shoes because it was a bit icy so we definitely needed those but yeah just a nice way to spend the morning outside. Woohoo! We did it! Teddy, that was so good. That was your longest hike. Alright, after a quick break at the condo for lunch, we headed back out. Perfect time to get both girls napping in the stroller again. And we came back downtown. We actually just drove from the hotel just to save ourselves like probably 20 minute round trip walk. And I downloaded an app called Trip Via Tours and they have walking tours 
well they have all kinds of tours but I purchased a walking tour of Canmore and you just download the app put in the code and I think it was 850 to for the whole tour and then we've each got an air an airpod in and it gives a five kilometer walking tour of Canmore so we just kind of started from downtown which is not where the tour was supposed to start but we can just pick up at whatever point that you are on the map and we just have our little airpods in and it just picks up wherever we are it tells us what direction to go and then so far just the few stops we've had it's giving us lots of history about Canmore and then right now it's just talking about the Three Sisters Mountains so I just think it's a really cool thing we've obviously done a lot of walking around Canmore but just to get a little bit more information so I will will keep you posted on how the tour is going and what we think of it once it's over but just seems like something fun to do while we've got nappers anyways and we want to be out for a walk and it is a beautiful day so you can't go wrong here. So when your walking tour walks right past your favorite bagel place, you have to stop and get one. This is the veggie delight on a toasted cheddar bagel and it is so good. There's hummus and guacamole and just all the veggie goodness on there. This spot over here is a good little restaurant for breakfast. We've been to it a couple times. would just like to take a minute to point out how beautiful and clear it is today and the view of the mountains surrounding Canmore are stunning. Okay, we're entering the Policeman's Creek path here. I don't know if we've ever been on this end of it. We finished our Policeman Creek walk and uh, ended up that our feet were sore after our hike and walk around the town. So now we're having a beer. Long Shadow IPA from Cochrane, I believe. So we are back at Centennial Park, which is the little playground that we played at a couple days ago. Came back to just let Teddy play a little bit more um, and just wanted to quickly talk about the little walking tour that we did because actually we ended up like completing the loop by going back to Main Street. So we did all the stops actually except for the first one. We didn't quite backtrack all the way to number one. It was interesting to do like it only cost $8.50 like I said and we needed to be out walking around anyway. So for example it the talk brought us around this park and it just told us about the outdoor stage that they have here at the park and how there's music festivals held there and just like a little tiny bit of information about things uh, when we walked along the Bow Valley Trail the busy road where the bagel company place is it kind of like it just pointed out to us the there's a red phone booth by the Georgetown Inn and it there's a couple of bear statues so it talked about a brown bear or maybe black bears and grizzly bears pointed out an anookshuk made of rocks so just kind of interesting things to listen to I don't think we really learned anything earth shattering by any means but it like I said it was relatively cheap and just a fun little thing to do to learn a little bit more and I think like as we come back to Canmore, we'll, as we drive or walk by things that we saw, we'll maybe think about the things we heard today. So it's just a cool little thing to do. It just feels about as nice as it can get, sitting in the sun, playing at the park, looking at the mountains. Okay, we are back to the truck after our big afternoon downtown Canmore. We have ordered some pizza, so we're going to go pick it up. pizza was so good we got the deluxe and then there was like a they have a pizza of the month and it was like 
I don't know, it had strawberries and goat cheese and balsamic vinaigrette, and it was so good. Travis and Teddy went down to the hot tub after supper. I got Ellie sleeping, and then as soon as I put her in the bassinet, she woke up. But we're gonna try, take her down there. Maybe she'll fall asleep on the stroll down, and I can jump in the hot tub for a few minutes because my body is sore from all the walking. from the Spring Creek area and we ended up over here where we've been before. We were hoping to find it so here we are and you can just see kind of the trail system around. Here's your unobstructed views of the mountain ranges that I've mentioned just a few times. We're very quickly heading back to the downtown. You can see the bridge there. And this Bow Valley Trail is really nice on this side because although it's not paved, it's very nice and packed and wide. So no problem with the stroller. So instead of continuing along the Bow Valley Trail, we decided to loop into town. Uh, we're just about to Main Street and we're gonna go just walk around the town center a little bit again. We should have a little bit more uh, nap time for the girls while they're in the stroller and we'll just check out some more stuff downtown. Well, we didn't make it too far down Main Street. We decided to have a stop here at the Rocky Mountain Bagel Company and have a little bit of a lunch. We're just going to split another bagel like we had yesterday and we've got uh, a couple of drinks and a little birthday brownie for Trav because it is his birthday today. We're at Cabiza Grande in Canmore and it's uh, about 3.30 on a Thursday and we're here for happy hour so I got up here and we ordered the nachos and guac which was uh, suggested by us for us. Another day and another stop at the playground kind of become the rhythm of our day here. Just walking home along Policeman's Creek here. There's a couple of ducks hanging out in the water, so we stopped to have a little, just to watch them for a moment. And then we'll head back. Ready, one, two, Wow. Hey, we're back again. We are doing another nap in the stroller, which is super convenient because I'm just walking down the street to pick up some supper from the Phoenix restaurant. I've never tried it before, but it's very close proximity. Uh, we didn't feel like going out anywhere tonight. I actually have some friends that are staying at the Blackstone right now as well, which wasn't planned, but just a nice little coincidence so we did some visiting with them and we're hoping to see them again a bit later so we just wanted something for supper that was quick and easy so um yeah just heading down me and ellie to grab the supper and then we'll be walking it back up to our place to enjoy okay, jump in chop 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 Good morning! Another beautiful day in the mountains. We actually drove this morning to the Banff area and just before heading into town we decided to turn and go up the Lake Minnewanka Road just to see if we could see any wildlife, which we did not. There's nothing much happening up here this time of year I guess or I guess just this morning. There's no animals out so we are going to head back into town. We are at the Cave and Basin. As we 
because it was it is a free thing to do once you have your discovery pass we thought we would check it out so it is open today and we're just heading into the entrance basin area here where this site is is the original hot springs pool area which they've converted it now just to a tourism you get to see the cave and then you get to see the water and the history of the area this was the actual first national park in Canada formed here at this site okay. that's the water right there running Wow okay. So not only do you learn the history of the cave and basin and of Banff National Park, but there's also lots of history of the of other national parks because this is really the park that spurred the whole national park system. So tons of history information, lots of reading, lots of videos and little shows to watch. There's like a theater upstairs and just lots to explore. There's lots of walking trails around the area. Actually, there's a couple of short walks that you can do with viewpoint. Here we go, Cave and Basin Trail System. You are here. Here's the trail that takes you down to the lower boardwalk. And if you peek over the edge here, you can see the boardwalk as well as the water falling, flowing out from the hot springs. Okay, we made it into downtown Banff. We got our free parking along the Bow River, which is one of the few places you can get free parking close to the downtown area. And we stopped on Bear Street at the Three Bears Brewing Company for some lunch. Hey, I went with a tuna melt. So we've got some cheesy pizza. And what did you get? Actual hot chicken. We had a nice lunch at the Three Bears. It was really good food. It's pretty pricey, but I think that's standard for the area. And then we just walked through the downtown area and right across the river. And we are doing the little trail that goes to the Bow Falls. So this is gonna be the end of the road for us. This is the staircase. Okay, I'm gonna leave Travis with the kiddos sleeping in the stroller and just do the stairs and see what this side of the trail is like. I said it was only 0.1 of a kilometer to get to the falls. So I should be able to go and have a quick look and make it back to them right away. Here's a little look from the top. And then we're just gonna head back down again. Okay, we went up and down and now we've got another up to do. I think I'll skip that last set of stairs because we have been at the bottom of the falls several times and if I go down it just means I have to go back up again so I will head back to the other side of the falls and catch up with the family. And last flight of stairs I think. Let's go there. Very quick and well worth it. A little walk up and down all the steps to get to see the falls. Lots of little pullouts along the trail where you can stop and sit on the benches. 
and just take in the nice view. After strolling back into the downtown area of Banff, we hit up a little flower coffee shop and we had uh, some gelato actually in the coffee shop and we I fed Ellie and we just had some awake time for her since she's been napping quite a bit in her seat today and I think that we are gonna head back to Canmore now so another nice day in Banff sun's just out shining now it was a little slightly cool on our walk but it's a pretty nice day overall I'm getting in some sunshine now so it's been another really great day in Banff And the next morning, it was time to hit the road and head back home. So thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.